Hey everybody, Bryce here from codelife.io, and today we're doing our third and final video on React hooks. There are many more React hooks, uh, many more, there's several, but we're gonna cover the three most common. So the three most common are use state, use effect, and probably use context, uh, at least in my experience. So in this third and final video, we're gonna cover use context. So if you remember in version 16.6, I wanna say, uh, contacts were released, which allowed you to no longer have to prop drill or pass props down through components uh, on and onward. Um, instead, you could just wrap the uppermost layer of your components with a provider, a context provider, and then down the line, whoever wanted to consume it, you could wrap it in a consumer, uh, context consumer. So we'll show you, so you still initiate the context the same way you did before, but you can now use React context, um, or excuse me, use, use context to pull the values back out. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that here. So just down here, what I'm gonna do, it's just an example. So outside of the component, I want to declare, we'll call it uh, burp, burp, burp. initial value. Uh, what kind of, what do we want to call it? Call it number of contacts. And that will be equal to react.createContext. And we can pass initial value to it. And so I'll pass the initial value of, let's say five to it. Perfect. So now down here, this is uh, this shouldn't be new here, or this part. And so what we need to do is now wrap our component in number context dot provider with a capital P. Make sure it's capital P, not lowercase p. Otherwise you have issues. And then we'll say the value will be equal to. You. And here you could have some dynamic value. You could have an object. You could have all kinds of stuff. I'll I'll just keep it as five, whatever we initialize to. It's fine with me. And let's finish wrapping this so it matches the tags. Perfect. So now we are passing that, or we have that context available to us. We can now use that, leverage it. Um, now to leverage it, um, it used to be you had to go number context dot consumer. And then you would be like value. And then you would actually like all this junk here, render that inside as render props. But we don't need to do that anymore, which is super nice. So we can come up here and we can say const, um, let's call it reset value, equals, and let's import use context here. Now we can use use context and which context we want to fetch from it would be our number context. Oops. And now let's say down in set count, instead of resetting back to zero, we want the reset value just to show we can pass along. And for good measure, if the value is, actually let's say, I say six, let's try this out. Let's see if this works. So the count is zero after five seconds, it should change to five. It'll just stay there. Nothing's happening. Let's see if I change it to six. I'm curious what will happen here. After five seconds, does it go back to five? Yeah, it does. So this doesn't really have too much of an effect there. Cool. So what you can see us happening or have happening here is we have a context provider, we pass it a value, which could be functions, an object, whatever it is. Um, that's wrapping our component. And you see my components in there. If we come up to my component, then we can use use context to pull that value out, which we could destructure if it was an object or whatever it may be. And then you can then use that within your component. So a pretty handy way to pass values up and down the chain, more or less, if you provide functions to interact or just pass the value straight down. So a lot easier than having to prop drill and pass a 
property down through three or four components or whatever it may be. It's a good alternative to using Redux. If you just have a couple of cases where you don't need to manage like a ton of state throughout your app, um, or if you do, I mean, I've seen some tutorials where people are using uh, the use context uh, and uh, context API to replace Redux. Um, there's also a use reducer uh, hook, which is also valuable, which is very similar to some of the cases you would use like in uh, Redux. So that's something worth checking out uh, if you haven't already. Uh, if you enjoyed the videos, please like and subscribe. It helps others find the videos based on the YouTube algorithms. Um, also, if you have any comments, feedback, if I says I'm wrong, the tutorial doesn't work for you, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Take care.